Hey, welcome back friends. So today is a video I generally don't like to do. Uh, I don't like to do negative videos, but hey, that's life. You know, sometimes you come across things that don't quite work out the way you think they should. And uh, so that's what today's video is about. Today is three hitches, weight distribution hitches, that I do not recommend. I actually ask people to steer clear of them. Uh, you know, if you don't know, if you don't follow the channel, at this point I've experienced 10 different weight distribution hitches. Uh, actually 11, one we're gonna talk about today is one I haven't ever included in uh, the videos, and you'll see why, you'll kinda see why. So really 11 weight distribution hitches, and three of them I tell people, hey, I would not buy this particular hitch. So I've got kind of three categories here. The ones we're gonna talk about today, which are the ones I just tell people to steer clear of. There's a, a middle group that I'm like, yeah, they're okay. You know, if you can find a good deal, maybe you find a used one, they're all right. They're not my favorite, but uh, you know, they're not bad either. And then there's another group that maybe we'll talk about sometime soon. We've talked about them before a good bit, but uh, my very favorites that I always tell people, hey, if you are really serious about getting a weight distribution hitch, then these are the few that you should go with. But today, we're just talking about the ones you should stay away from. Hope to stick around. Today's video is brought to you by RVMattress.com, a Brooklyn bedding brand. So our family has enjoyed RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding's mattresses for over a year now. We love them and we're confident you will as well. This particular model is called the Dream Foam Essential, which just won Good Housekeeping's 2023 Family Travel Award for having a big variety of sizes without sacrificing comfort, making it the perfect mattress on the road. With your RV mattress by Brooklyn Bedding, you get a 120-night sleep trial and a 10-year warranty. Each mattress is made right here in the good old USA and ships from their warehouse in Arizona. For our family, the RV is our place to recharge for the next day. So a comfortable night's rest is important, not just for mom and dad, but for the kids too. Thank you, RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring today's video. Go visit rvmattress.com slash wondering and use code wondering to get 20% off your new RV mattress. Hey friends, just going to tap the brakes right quick and let you know that our code WONDERING now saves you 25%. So thank you RVMattress.com for a little bit of extra savings. Now let's hop back into today's video. All right, today's video is just a conversation and it's also just my experience. So you're going to get in the comment section, I guarantee you already, you're going to get folks saying, well, I have so-and-so hitch and my hitch performs great. Well, there's two things to think about there. One, most people have only experienced one or two hitches. They don't understand that there's anything else out there a lot of times. Sometimes they do, but most of the time they've only experienced a few hitches. That happened to me. My first couple of hitches, I, I had one of these hitches that I'm going to talk about today, and then I switched over to another one that I'm going to talk about today, and it was better. So I thought, hey, I'm good, but come to find out it was not good. Also, there's varying opinions within the towing community, I guess that's what you'd call it, of, uh, of what is okay when it comes to towing. You know, some people are okay if, they're, if their tail's wagging a little bit and the trailer's floaty back there. And they're fine with it. They think, hey, that's, that's just how it's supposed to be. I'm not okay with that. I want my truck and trailer to feel like a train going down train tracks. I want my trailer to feel like it's attached to my truck. Everything is planted to the road. That's what I want to feel when I'm towing my, my travel trailer. So yeah, between varying opinions, you're gonna get all kinds of comments down there, and I encourage that, please. You know, if you've had a different experience than me, sure, share it down there in the comments below, but understand, you know, I'm also coming from my experience having, you know, towed with 11 different hitches. These are the three I really don't recommend. All right, the first hitch we're gonna talk about today is a hitch that I've, I haven't brought up much because I haven't used it to its full potential, but as I've grown in this whole hitch experience, uh, I realize a lot of people are still using this hitch, and uh, that is the weight, the whole Husky weight distribution hitch with the chains. You'll see a picture of it right here. Um, you know, the way I used it was just the weight distribution without the sway control attachment. So if, you, if you're not familiar with modern day weight distribution hitches with sway control, most of them you don't have to disconnect when you're backing up, unless you're like really jackknifing it. You don't have to disconnect it when you're back, most of these when you're backing up. This old school one you do. So if you're using the little extra bar right there as sway control, you gotta unhook that when you're backing up. And a lot of people didn't like that. Um, and, and there was an option too, like you didn't have to use that little sway control 
bar option. You have a little side little ball on the actual hitch. You're seeing pictures of it right now. And uh, yeah, that was an option for you to have or not have. Well, I experienced that hitch without that option. And I actually think that this is the one hitch that may be worse than just towing with no hitch at all. You know, I think you might be better off a lot of times if your trailer is properly uh, loaded, you might be better off just towing on the ball versus using this particular hitch. Now, the reason I say that, you want some tongue weight. So a lot of you folks out there, you're trying to eliminate all the tongue weight and, and place all of the weight back on those steer axles. What you don't realize is you're also placing weight backwards on your trailer. So you want some hitch weight. You, that, that is a good thing. If you guys have ever seen that video that uh, I think Waysafe put it out, I think a, other, a couple of other folks have put it out, just showing you the difference of how you, you distribute weight in your trailer and how well that itself controls sway, uh, you'll realize that, hey, it's not good to have all of my hitch weight eliminated. So I definitely need some hitch weight. And I think some of you guys may be wrenching this thing down so much that, uh, yeah, you may be putting yourself in a worse position. Even though you're putting weight back on the steer axles, now your trailer's gonna be a little bit more out of control. And I don't know which one's better, so, yeah, definitely stay away from the old Husky with chains. There's a lot better options out there. I know that is a budget-friendly hitch, but in my experience, and that's all I can speak to, in my experience, I wouldn't recommend it. So the Husky is my least favorite hitch of all. And my second least favorite hitch, and as much as I love this company and their customer service, uh, I, was, I just don't like the Blue Ox Sway Pro. You know, I, I've had... And here, here's the deal. I've had an, a journey with this. I think I've talked about that way too much already. But uh, when I first bought our trailer, I had that Husky hitch. And then I, you know, I get on a Facebook group and uh, it's, it's, our, it's our Imagine Facebook group on, uh, on Facebook, of course. And I'm, I'm asking questions or I'm reading comments. Hey, what is the best hitch for our Imagines? And a lot of people love the Blue Ox. So, okay, sounds great. I'm going to go buy a Blue Ox. You know, I get my bar weight, what bar weight I need, what drop, you know, all of that good stuff. I slap on the Blue Ox, and yes, the Blue Ox did perform better than the old Husky. Well, come to find out, the Blue Ox has been the worst hitch I've included in these hitch battles. And so of the 10, of the 10 hitches, it is by far the worst performing for me. All right, and be clear about that. So I, I, yeah, I had customer service issues with it. No, I'm sorry, not customer service issues. I had quality issues with it, reached out to their customer service. They were great. They, um, they pushed back a little bit when I asked for some new saddles because I had a wrench that was a little bit too big for the saddles. If you know, you're seeing pictures of, how, of this hitch right now. I don't have it anymore. I gave it away. And, um, but you're seeing pictures of that. And my wrench actually stripped my saddles. And so they thought they could just send me a smaller diameter wrench and that would, that would fix my problem. But I was like, hey, my saddles are still stripped. So they gave me a little pushback on that. But they're like, yo, you're probably right. You do need some new saddles. So in the end, their customer service was okay. Um, I think they make good other products. I think their other products are good. You know, a lot of the stuff for toads and stuff like that, big motorhomes, I think does some of the top of the line stuff. But for me, the Blue Ox stuff has not worked out well. And that kind of transitions into my third least favorite hitch. All right, my third least favorite hitch, and I'm going to talk about why the, the two Blue Oxes are my least favorite here, um, is the Blue Ox Track Pro. So it's kind of funny. Um, what happened with the thing that spurred the entire hitch battle thing and for me to continue to test these hitches, I did a, a comparison between my Blue Ox Sway Pro and the Kurt True Track. And the Kurt True Track basically blew it out of the water. Um, Blue Ox then reached out to me and said, hey, we saw your video. We thought you had some fair points, but we have a new weight distribution hitch. We'd love to send you that one and get your thoughts. Well, they did. And so my thoughts were, even though it was better than the Sway Pro, it still wasn't as good as the Track Pro. And um, yeah, I still got, a, and here, here's the reason why I don't like the Blue Ox stuff, I think, for, for the most part. They're tapered bars a lot of porpoising. I don't think the tapered bars control the trailers as well. I get um, I get more sway than any other hitch. Uh, the tapered bars, I get more porpoising than any other hitch. I did get some pretty pretty rough porpoising on the Pro Pride, 
But ProPride reached out to me and said, hey, back those jacks off one turn, you should be good. And that did correct it. So the ProPride, you know, even though I got porpoising in the beginning, uh, I was able to fix that. I was able, never able to dial in these Blue Ox hitches to not porpoise. And I think those tapered bars are the reason why. So, you know, should I have gotten thicker bars, much heavier bars than recommended? Maybe, but I, I don't know why they wouldn't recommend that in the first place, right? You get the bars for your trailer. They have those different bars for a reason. And so, um, so yeah, I, I think that's the reason why. They also, the, the sway control just wasn't good for me, not compared to the other hitches. So once you got to the Kurt True Track, once you got to the Equalizer, once you got to those guys, they were just so much better at controlling sway. I mean, it was much more apt to being on a train track than the Blue Ox products. And, uh, and yeah, the reason being, I think, uh, is the Blue Ox products have zero resistance when it comes to um, the hitch head. There's zero resistance there. And so I really wasn't sure besides, you know, putting that angle on the hitch and those bars sliding over the saddles, um, at least in the Track Pro's situation, um, that was the only way they're controlling sway. And the Track Pro, I get, get all these hitch names confused because they're all kind of similar. The Track Pro... Uh, did control Sway better than the Sway Pro. The Sway Pro had the chains, and so there's no resistance at the hitch head, really. There's no resistance at the saddles with those chains. I mean, there's some once you get so far, but um, yeah, the, the Sway Pro just didn't do very good, and uh, the Track Pro didn't do much better, even though it did a little bit better. Uh, it didn't do a whole lot better, and I think that's the reason why. There's just no resistance at the head. There's no. Uh, there's a lot of porpoising with those those uh, tapered bars and the spring bars really are just too springy. And I think that's the reason why those hitches didn't perform as well for me. All right. Again, let me be clear. This is just my experience. So, um, so yeah, there you go. So the old Husky with the chains without the sway control attachment, uh, I have not used, got to see myself here. I have not used a Husky with chains with the sway control attachment. So I cannot speak to that. Let me be clear about that. But a lot of you are using the old Husky without the Sway Control attachment. And so, uh, so yeah, that would be dead last. And then the Sway Pro from Blue Ox would be in 10th place. And then the Track Pro from Blue Ox would be in 9th place. Those are the hitches I actually recommend people stay away from. So everything else, you're going to be okay. Uh, but, yeah, those, I'm just not a fan. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just not. And, uh, you know, I, I don't mean to offend anybody, but that's just the truth. That's been my experience. I, you know, I hope I hope your Track Pro or your your Sway Pro. I hope it's locked in and it's serving you well. It just didn't for me. So, guys, I hope this video was useful. Uh, make sure to check out the hitch battles. You know, we've done so many videos on hitches now. Uh, just go back in the channel. You'll see them. You can kind of search the channel. Just just type in hitch, and you'll see several videos on several different hitches. You can kind of follow my journey. You'll actually you can actually go back and watch the Blue Ox review. I had good things to say about it then because quite frankly, I didn't know any better. And so I've actually left that video up on purpose to show you guys the journey that I've been on. And um, yeah, as much as I kind of want to take it down, I also want to show you guys, hey, this has been a learning experience. And uh, you know, I was a little naive at, the, at that point. I didn't know any better, thought it was good. And, but I want to make sure you guys see that. It's like, hey, I was not completely right in that video and, um, and yeah, I've grown since then, hopefully, and hopefully I'll keep growing. Yeah. So uh, guys, I hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are having safe travels. Thank you guys so much for following along on the channel. Um, you know, the channel, channel continues to grow and that thanks, that is all thanks to you guys. Hope you're good. See ya.